All right there, folks, it's time for another episode of Ask GameSpot. I'm Chris Waters. He's Peter Brown. Oh, yeah. And it's time to talk next-gen hardware, because next-gen is coming very soon, but it's kind of also here now. What? Let's get to the questions. It's true! Though the consoles aren't out for another few weeks, you can already buy some stuff in stores. So, Peter Brown, what can you get? One of these! That's a DualShock 4. It's a DualShock 4. Yeah. You can buy this right now. You can hook it up to your PS3 and your PC. You can't play everything with it, but you can do a lot of good stuff. So, a lot of PlayStation 3 games will work with it just fine. You yep. can't sync it wirelessly. You've got to be tethered. Yes. Um, any game that requires a wireless controller, which isn't really explicitly stated on the box, but something like Grand Theft Auto V won't work. Battlefield 4 does work, although, problem, the control, the, the mapping still thinks you're playing on a DualShock 3, so the triggers are trash, so R1 <laughs> is going to be your trigger button, as opposed to the totally legit R2 on the DualShock 4, which you'll get to use once it comes out for the PS4. Also. Uh, the PlayStation button doesn't work. Right, so anything you need to do with the system, yeah. you're going to have to have a DualShock 3 kind of hooked up. Also plugged in. Take care of all that. But I played some Spelunky with this bad boy on our live stream last week. Totally worked. Bad to the bone. So with so many games coming out across the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One, you're probably wondering, should you wait for the next-gen versions of those games? Chris, you play a lot of Battlefield 4. What would you Ooh, say? Ooh, that's a tough one because, on the one hand, you know, you buy the current gen version, you get a $10 upgrade code. It's a good deal. Uh, so it's a good deal. You know, you still, just so you guys know, like if you have the PlayStation 3 disc, you do the $10 upgrade. You still need the PlayStation 3 disc in your PlayStation 4 to run Battlefield 4 Whoa, on the PS4. Really? So don't think like, oh, I'll just resell the copy and then get my digital copy I'm for so 10 smart. bucks. They are smarter <laughs> than you, or they plan for that one yeah. contingency. Anyways, uh, I think I would buy Battlefield current gen because a $10 upgrade, even though that I'm basically saying like, you know, I'm paying $10 extra to play it two to three weeks early. Yeah. But with a game like Battlefield, I just like, I just wanted to get into it. I just wanted to like start getting my unlocks. So if that's, if that's your compulsion, go for it. It's an extra 10 bucks. It's not that much. On the other hand, the game definitely looks way, way better on next gen consoles. And if you're getting a next gen console, definitely plan to upgrade because the 64 player matches, ooh doggy, so good. Oh yeah. And I think the same was true for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, actually. Sean McInnes and Kevin Van Ord did a lengthy video sort of comparing uh, the current gen to next gen. And while those games are largely the same experience, unlike Battlefield, which has some substantive differences in the online multiplayer, Black Flag looks way better on next gen systems. And that's one you're not gonna wanna upgrade. Your save file's not gonna transfer, so you definitely wanna go straight for the next gen system. Yeah, and even though it's only graphical upgrades, it's things like textures that are popping in, draw distances, all the things that kind of affect your level of immersion, if you can really say you can get immersed in Assassin's Creed, mm -hmm. but I think it's an important thing to wait for that game in particular. Well, while we're on the subject of next gen games, a lot of you have been asking what are our most anticipated next gen launch games. You're, you're getting the new system, what are you getting into immediately? I really wanted to get into Watch Dogs. Um, yeah. But that's cool. Uh, right now, Resogun on the PlayStation 4 is a de Defender-style game. If you guys remember the old 80s arcade shooter, you can move your ship in either direction. Uh, Left but, and right. Yeah. Next gen, baby. <laughs> uh, this is being made by the guys who created Super Stardust HD, which is another great shooting game. Uh, pretty simple arcade mechanic shooter. Uh, then also Crimson Dragon, actually, on the Xbox One. It's made by the guys who used to design the Panzer Dragoon series. Very similar to that game. Cool. Uh, my launch window is pretty much all about the shooters. Killzone, Shadowfall, I am a big fan of Killzone multiplayer, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that on next gen. Also, next gen Battlefield 4 has 64 player matches on console for the first How time. Many? 64 players, which, you know, folks, if you played console Battlefield for most of your natural life, it's a lot of fun, but 64 players, man. It's the game, it, it's awesome. I'm excited for that. Well, with only a week or two to go, I bet you guys are probably wondering, what is GameSpot got planned for the next generation console launches? Oh, so much. Uh, we've got a ton of awesome features lined up. They're already working on them, and we're getting into it big time. But the big kickoff event is at 8 p.m. Pacific on November 14th. That's the Thursday before the midnight launch of the PlayStation 4. I'm going to be there. Danny O'Dwyer from the UK is moving to San Francisco. He's going to be there. It's going to be an awesome live stream spectacular. You folks should definitely plan to come watch it. Yeah, of course, we'll have all the reviews you're looking for, features comparing hardware, 
the different uh, you know, capabilities of every console. So stay tuned. We only got a week or two, I guess, probably two weeks left. And then you get the Xbox One a couple weeks after that. This is it. All right, folks, that does it for this episode of Ask GameSpot. As always, remember to follow us on Twitter and send us any of your questions because your questions could inspire the next Ask GameSpot. And we'd love to answer them for you. So for Peter Brown, I'm Chris Waters saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.